for me, I'm questioning all the time, and I have not come to a conclusion yet, what is the content of motion? I want to understand, I, I think that we have to call more cues. Every move has to be called. Maybe you have to say, it's not good enough to say how many are you doing, because if you go faster at that moment than Jackie, then what I really want is for the movement to go like, like there's a stop. way we can access what I feel is truly the complexity of space and therefore time and the generation of forces is to build action gizmos, to have hardware. All of the things about our hardware, all of the notions embedded in what piece of equipment we invent next has everything to do with places we haven't been to yet. And that's our job. People like go, oh, well, Streb's not dance because she has all that hardware and what's she doing anyway? I'm, I'm saying the harshest critics say that. But for me, the music industry started really early on deciding that the human voice was not sufficient to express all that the human wanted to express. So they made a harpsichord or they made a flute or they have a, string, a series of stringed in instruments. That's exactly what I think Streb does. I need to get higher. I need to go faster. I need to deal with what it is to turn and what that means. So is what we do just a question of physics, of space, time, mass, and gravity, or more a state of mind, of will, pain, and nerves? What does it mean to take the hit? What are our physical limits? How much can our bodies take? And what can literally make our hearts skip a beat? To do some of these movements and to be willing to defy gravity, you have to have a certain uh, state of mind and a certain level of curiosity. And definitely you cannot be too concerned with your well-being. You have to agree to walk into the room and get a little hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sarah Donnelly. I describe Elizabeth Streb as a fantastic artist and sort of a mad scientist who is um, working to create something completely new. I was from a working class family, so we didn't go to concert halls, we went to the circus. And every single move they did, I thought, well, I think I could do that. And I started to think about inventing sort of an Arctic moves and also eccentric actions that were that got it, the attention of human beings uh, for no good reason. My problem was I really didn't believe in abstract movement, normal vocabulary of dance. In 1976, I picked up a bunch of sticks and started doing dances with sticks and hoops and ropes. And I made a big hill that we ran up and down for a half hour. Right away, I wanted to create a utilitarian um, vocabulary. And it came from me believing that it had to be causal and it had to do something besides just whip your legs and arms around. Will those of you in the first rows who have been supplied with protective headgear, please put it on now. And I started to ask what my civic duty was.
Okay. I don't know. I mean, they're going to go to our apartment. If this can't bleed into the general public, in the United States specifically, I'm not happy with how elitist the arts are in the United States. I'm much more interested in being a groundswell movement. Even this is a micro spot. This is only, the cube is 100 by 30 by 50. But I believe that it's the right size to cause an effect in a 10 block area. I think it's a single second. I think it's just like, you know, a child sitting there watching someone fly. But they have seen what this is about, and they want to provoke it in their own bodies. And maybe adults should possibly, you know, take, take that on a little bit themselves. I was in a diner in East Rochester, and a troop of theater performers I know now walked into the diner. And I looked at them, and they were black leather jackets and Really cool. The coolest people in my whole life I've ever seen. Did I see their show? No. Did I know who the heck they were? No. But I went like this, I looked at them and I went, that's me. That's who I am. So even I think a child, a young child can look at the energy of a human, not even go to a show and see a move that they invented or a story, hear a story that someone has told, but just brushing by someone who is making their life um, you know, based on the retelling of human stories, whether it's action or words or what, can, can change everything.